Okay, so I am ready to do my homework for Miguel Herans and um, I thought if I am going to draw a scene, why not draw a meal? I, I have been drawing in sketchbooks for, for ages and I have never drawn a meal and I'm Dutch. It's just impossible. So, this is the right opportunity to do so. Lots of noise in the background as well, so I'm sorry about that. Anyway, for a start, I have this uh, grey toned paper sketchbook, which is uh, Strathmore. So, um, there's a few rules for, my, for this sketchbook. I made those up myself. It has to be places that I draw, so it could be inside. So in winter, so in winter I have a little bit more opportunities to draw inside. This, for example, is in Thailand, Vondel Park. Could even be inside of a car. So there's many, many ways to go with the rules that I have. So it has to be a place, interior or exterior. I draw with ink usually just my Lamy Safari pen and then I color it with color pencils um, and the coloring with the color pencils is mostly hatched so um, those are my rules I am going to try and capture this mill here which is a brewery it's in the middle of Amsterdam or actually at the eastern side of Amsterdam it's kind of smack in the middle people are actually working on it right now. I'll be um, drawing here. Try to capture that meal using the spiral technique that Miguel shows in his demo. So here we go. Before I put the first line down, I take a good look at the windmill and then decide that I best start from the center point of the mill's sweeps. Is that what they're called? Sweeps? Wings? I don't know. The surface my sketchbook is on is the front of my bicycle, at the top of my bicycle basket. Not ideal and a bit wobbly, but as Liz Steele says in Sketchbook School's course Seeing, I am not going to worry about it and I will embrace the wonkiness. It'll be adding character and personality to my drawing in the end. I'm keeping an eye on the negative space, meaning I am looking at the blue sky and its shape. I try working from that center and I like this approach because at some point when you're not quite done drawing yet, or not at all actually, there will be a drawing already. Part of it is solid because you worked from that center around it. So if you need to abandon the drawing for whatever reason, instead of some lines all over the page, you'll have at least that bit spiraled around your starting point. Drawing this subject takes patience. A windmill's shape is so iconic, but when you're taking a closer look, suddenly there's so much to discover. Those wings are built out of so many slats and with this lighting and distance, it's quite difficult to make out details and understand the construction fully, but I just keep peering at it and by focusing on areas instead of the whole, I don't feel overwhelmed and just go from shape to shape by adding lines and filling details while the drawing grows. The gutter of my sketchbook is kind of bothering me just a little, but I am going to ignore it because, well, I'll just have to live with it. Not all of this is accurate in my drawing, but hey, I'm not an architect and I'm just interpreting what I see anyway. That's funny, during the process of drawing I am trying not to think of the whole, but I do know that in the end my lines, even the faulty ones, are going to result in something that looks complete and solid. To achieve some thinner lines, I'm turning the tip of my fountain pen and use that side. This is very handy, I only need one pen and still I can use a variety of thickness in line. 
Because it's summer, the trees have a lot of green. I won't be drawing each and every leaf on the trees, but I will just make a suggestion by drawing curly lines while I follow the outlines of the trees with my eyes. And then of course those cars that are parked there. I feel kind of hesitant to draw them because I'm a bit afraid I will mess up the drawing. It's always a challenge to make cars look like cars when you draw them. So I could leave them out, but they're there. so that would also feel like cheating and I mean they are part of the whole scene. So again I will just try to take it step by step and instead of thinking about the car I just draw the shapes that I can make out from this distance and eventually they will add up to a shape that hopefully our eyes will translate into some sort of vehicle. Also let's bring some more life to it. There are people around after all, so I'll draw them too. Miguel uses a white pen to draw people in the foreground, creating an awesome effect of depth and liveliness. Very clever. I don't have any people walking in the foreground, so I will just keep it by drawing these two people walking there under the trees. Of course, I could go on forever trying to perfect things, but I've been standing here long enough, so I'll call it a day. I'll be adding color later. And even without color, I'm pretty happy with the result, I have to say.